Good morning. Magandang umaga po. Someone sent me an email. What is it a comment? I think it's a comment in uh, in one of my postings uh, questioning or saying certain things that related to social security uh, and he claims that there is so much misinformation I would not say I would not call it misinformation because of fraud or anything like that but maybe it's because of ignorance and I just want to straighten out some of the issues he brought up I agree with some but I do not agree in other statements that he or she made so let's take a look at it Stay with me. First thing I'm going to say is this. Social security is not that simple. Sometimes you are going to wonder how social security is even computing these things. Don't even attempt to try to do that yourself. Uh, what I would suggest is just try to understand the concept the problem is getting the right concept. A lot of people are misinformed. If I don't know the answer to a question, I will tell you I don't know. But I'm not going to give you a guess or anything like that because then that is what I would call misinformation. So let's take a look point by point. Let's take a look at the statements made by this person giving this comment, okay? And I will try to straighten it out and say to you what is truly the story behind it. This is coming from Ross Zing Johnson. He said, please do not deceive the public. If you collect social security at 62, you will be at a disadvantage. Not necessarily so. If you start collecting at 62, you will receive a reduced amount. What happens if you die at the age of 63, 64, or 65? By claiming at age 62, you would have gotten so much in benefit, which otherwise you won't get anything because you died early. So it's not a true statement that you will be at a disadvantage. You need to understand what the exchanges are. You get more later or you get less today earlier, but you will get more in terms of dollars. He says, you will get less money. That's correct. If you claim or you benefit at 62, you will get less money than if you claim and wait until you're 70. Also, you will not get yearly increases. False. Everybody gets yearly increases. That's what you call COLA, cost of living adjustment. Now, when you ask Social Security, what will be my benefit of 62? They'll give you a certain amount. What will be my benefit at 70? They'll give you a certain amount. And obviously, at 70, you will get more than if you were to collect early. So the first statement was correct. No, not the first. The second statement that you will get less money. But this, the third statement, you will also not get yearly increases, is incorrect. Because once you start collecting, every year you will also get an increase. You cannot get Medicare at 62. That's correct, because you have to be 65 to get Medicare. I'm talking about, normally speaking, you know, if you're disabled or something happens to you and then you do not have the money to support yourself, yeah, you can get Medicare even at a much earlier age. Everyone is encouraged to go online and open a social security account to view your statement. I agree with that. One, if you take retirement check early, you get less money as stipulated in your yearly statement by Social Security stating, if you retire now, this is all you will get. Your check is locked into that amount. No. Let's say you, you retire at 62 and you're receiving 1500 a month. That will go up every year because of cost of living adjustment. Okay, I just want to straighten out that fact. Those who take Social Security early are, are not eligible for the yearly increases each January. This year it's 5%. As I said, you will be the uh, people who claim or are already collecting Social Security now will always be entitled to COLA. And I agree with that. In fact, this year it will be 
a little more than 5%. If you wait till retirement age, you will get more money as amount shown on your yearly statement because you will be paying more into the program by working longer as well as the yearly increases. The yearly increase has nothing to do with it because if you collect earlier, as I said, you will get a COLA adjustment, okay? But the reason you will get more is, let's say that everybody dies at 80. If you collect at 62, compared to 70, at 70, you only have 10 years to collect. At 62, you have so many more years to collect, so you will get less. Not only that, as you continue to work, hopefully, your salary or your income keeps growing and growing and growing and growing and you keep on paying into the program, paying into the program, and that helps, subject to certain maximum, okay? There is a cap on Social Security benefits, I agree. That means even if you make over and above the required credits and perhaps a million dollars in a year, Social Security will stop at a certain amount because of the cap amount offered by Social Security Administration. I agree with that. There is so much false information out there, especially by YouTubers. I would say there is no reason for them to provide you with false information, but sometimes they send you or they give you wrong information because of ignorance or lack of knowledge on certain things. Now, let's talk about Maximum amount of Social Security. The most an individual who files a claim for Social Security retirement benefit in 2021, this changes every year, can receive per month is 3895 for someone who files at age 70. But 3148 is all you will get maximum for someone who files at full retirement age currently currently that full retirement age is 66 and two months depending on when you were born now the reason there is a cap let's say you're making i, I can't remember the limits now let's say the limit is you'll get tax up to two hundred thousand dollars of your income which means if you're making one million once you hit 200 you stop you don't you don't pay anymore into social security until the following year you start again until say 200,000 and then you stop again and that is the reason why there is a cap in the same token when they pay out the benefit you're limited to a certain amount social security is not designed for you to have a good life a fantastic life and things like that this is just to supplement your retirement hopefully hopefully most people have other source of retirement income or retirement funds now, in the same token, what is the lowest Social Security payment? Imagine that an individual who attained full retirement age at 67 had enough years of coverage to qualify for full retirement Social Security benefit of 897. If they filed at 62, there would be a 30% reduction in benefit. This means that 2020, the minimum Social Security benefit at 62 is 628 instead of 897. Can a, per, uh, can a person, this is another question, okay, from someone. Can a person who has never worked social, collect social security, the only people who can legally collect benefits without paying into social security are family members of workers who have done so. Non-working spouses, ex-spouses, offspring or parents may be eligible for spousal, survivor or children's benefit based on qualifying workers' earning record. When a husband dies, does a wife get his social security? The surviving spouse can collect 100% of the late spouse's benefit if the survivor, provided the survivor, has reached full retirement age, but the amount will be lower if the deceased spouse claims benefits before he or she reaches full retirement age. When you ask Social Security, could you tell me how much I will receive at 62 and how much I'll receive at 70? They'll give you a number. I'm just going to throw a number. This is not the official number. Let's say at 62, it's 1,005. And then let's say at 70, you'll get 1,600. 1,000, not 600, 1,500 to 2,000, okay? So 1,500 to 2,000, gee, 500. 
this is where everybody is mistaken. They will say, four, five hundred dollars a month. Ooh, well, I would rather retire and wait for that extra five hundred dollars. Okay? Now, the problem is this. How many years did you not collect the benefit? 1,005? Age 62? Until age 70? Multiply that by the number of months and by the number of years and how much social security benefit were you not able to collect? See, people just look at the comparison of 1,005 and 2,000. They say, that's $500, you know, hey, gee, you know, I, I can live better with $500. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, you have forgone thousands and thousands of dollars that you could have collected. And what happens if you die at age 65? You collected zero. Whereas you could have collected at least three years of 1,500 per month. That's a lot of money. Okay? So that's why I'm saying just because you retire early, you are receiving less, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are at a disadvantage. It depends on people. So it's a choice you have to make. It's a choice everybody has to make. If you believe you will reach the age of 100, you know for sure that you are going to live until 100. Of course, I would recommend you retire at 70 because you will get a lot more. Because the difference is maybe you will break even, meaning you will collect just as much, uh, maybe at the age of 78, 80, maybe 82, depending on the income generation you're able to make on the money that you're receiving now, it may take you several years before you break even, before you get the full benefit of that extra money by waiting until age 70. So I just wanted to clarify that and make sure that everybody is straight in their mind uh, that Collecting early doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Yes, you will get less. That's true. But doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Okay? And by the way, another thing is, you called Social Security. They said at 62, you will receive 1,005. At 70, you will receive, let's say, 2,000. This is just an example. Okay? Don't think that by waiting, it will become 2,000. Because there's a mixture in this additional $500 a month. The reason is, one reason is because you waited longer. So you're able, they are able, Social Security is able to pay you out a little bit more. But also, also, this is what Social Security does not tell you. This benefit of 2000 assumes that you will continue to work and earn as much money as you were making when you were 62. So if you stop working, better collect. Because if you do not collect, you are not going to get this money that they said you will receive at age 70. You will not. And the important thing is, very important in that message that was sent to me, you, if you retire at 62, 63, 64, at any age, you will be entitled to COLA, cost of living adjustment. Okay? Even if you wait until 70, you will still be entitled. Even if you collect at the age of 70, you will still be entitled to COLA. So I just wanted to make that straight and clarify that. If you want, go ahead and call Social Security Administration and check it out. But everybody receives COLA. Okay, so I'll appreciate it if you share this information to people you love and care about. about. And uh, I'll appreciate it if you click like. And if you subscribe to my channel, unless you have already done so. And mm, don't forget to click the notification bell. Thank you so much. Make it a great day. And God bless.